Just so you know, um, I've sat here for about 20 minutes waiting for the British summertime, the rain, uh, to pass by, but it's not happening. So we'll uh, we'll crack on because I could be here until well, I don't know, next May Day bank holiday. Hello there, I'm Matt Foyster from the Tracks FM Breakfast Show, back with episode three of the test drive feature. You may recall the first one was the Volkswagen Up, nice car. Um, a few weeks ago, they gave me the new Ford Ranger from Stoneacre Ford, which was brilliant if you are the fall guy, not living in Bawtree, or if you are 50 cents. Um, and I saw this car on the schedule a few weeks ago. It's a one litre. A one litre? You can't give me a 3.2 litre truck with a six-speed gearbox, and they give me a one litre Ford Focus. Can you? Oh, it's, it's a one litre that goes like a 1.6. Yeah, of course. First things first, here come the um, bits that we all pretend aren't the reasons why we buy a car, but often are. The cool bits inside. First of all, look at the interior on that. I mean, for a one litre, what is supposed to be tiny car, this is really flash on the inside. I mean, this is close to your coupe design there, with your sloping roof. I've got the um, five-door model this week of the Z-Tech. What? A one litre car with a six speed gearbox. Is this possible? You still get things like reversing sensors, that kind of stuff. Um, air conditioning, obviously, is a given. Um, everything's electric, okay. Power steering, obviously. Plenty of airbags, so it's very safe. And do you know what? The longer I sit in it, the more I want to compare it to well, a nasty word, something that I once experienced. In fact, I experienced it for four years. It was the best four years of driving of my life. This feels a little bit like my old Vauxhall Sport hatch. Hello, Mr. Magpie. Oh, I've just saluted a pigeon. It's embarrassing. So, if you want flashing expensive, and if you've got a spare 25, 30 grand, then maybe the Ford Ranger is for you. At this point, editor, cut a clip of Matt's driving Ford Ranger. However, if you'd like to pick up more of a bargain, okay, maybe something a bit lower on tax, Maybe something that gives you the power of 1.6, but in a one litre car. And maybe the new Ford Focus ZTEC is for you. It's also one of the um, EcoBoost cars from Ford, which means that when you get to a, a junction, traffic lights, whatever, or on your drive, if you put it in neutral and um, take your foot off the clutch, it stops altogether, which is a bit scary the first time, but you get used to it. Like most things in life, really. So thank you for spin. The really interesting thing is, at no point do you feel like you're driving a car that's only powered by a one litre engine. I mean, I don't get, I don't get how it's possible. It says so in the, in the brochure, the paperwork, and they all talk about it at Stoneacre, but they say a lot of things there. How is it possible to get the power of a 1.6 car in a one litre car? I mean, what have they come across in this factory? This is amazing. Plus you're paying, you're not, you're not paying, what are you going to pay for your tax? Don't tell them that bit. Don't tell them it's a 1.6 litre car in a 1 litre engine. You tell them it's a 1.0. It's £30 for your car tax. Okay, um, weather update. It being the British summertime, naturally it's um, chucking it down. So we're going to give you the lap around the car in less than 30 seconds, showing off the features. Okay? To avoid getting rained on. So, the bit we can tell you in the dry. It's the Ford Focus z -Tech from Stoneacre Ford. It's the 1.6 litre engine car in a 1.0 litre body, which means it's just cheaper all around. And features. You ready? At this point, cut to some dramatic Benny Hill lock music. Okay. And features. <laughs> Alloy wheels. Two more doors at the back. Back seats. Coupe look of a car. Look. Looks delightful. Funky windows. White, new black. Fog light. Fog light. Back in. <laughs> 